Hi, I'm back. Today we are going to watch a demonstration of high frequency electromagnetic energy flowing through soil. Ralph Frederick is back by popular demand. In a previous video, Ralph demonstrated his Frederick Earth table. In that demonstration, Ralph showed us that current can flow through moist soil. Enough current was generated to light an LED bulb placed in the soil when that bulb had each copper foot at a different electrical potential. However, when the electrical potential at both copper feet was the same, nothing happened. The bulb stayed off. Ralph designed the Frederick Earth table to demonstrate that frequencies, used for electricity, referred to as power frequencies, can flow along soil. These frequencies are at 60 Hz in North America and 50 Hz elsewhere. But, if you recall, we saw higher frequencies flowing along the soil on Dave's scope meter. These higher frequencies have different properties and different biological effects. It is important to realize that 60 Hz and kilohertz frequencies can be present on farms. They both need to be monitored as they have different effects and different sources. How is Ralph going to demonstrate these higher frequencies flowing through soil? Ralph I'm turning it over to you. I started with a wooden box to which I added potting soil, slightly moistened. I then added an audio oscillator and placed the two leads into the soil. This allows me to change the frequency from 10 to 1 million hertz. The audio oscillator produces one frequency, or tone, at a time. At the other end of the Frederick Earth table I added an audio amplifier as shown here. When I turned both units on, we had sound. The human ear is capable of detecting sound frequencies between 20 and 20,000 hertz. Although we lose some of this range as we age, this demonstrates that the higher frequencies had to flow through the soil to be picked up by the amplifier. To ensure this was the case, I parted the soil in the earth table. And as soon as I did, the sound stopped, as I sprinkled the soil back, and formed a soil bridge, the sound started again. This clearly demonstrates that the frequency from the audio oscillator is picked up by the audio amplifier as it travels through the soil. Then I did something else. I parted the soil again. This time I placed one hand on top of the soil on the left and the other hand on top of the soil on the right. As soon as both my hands were in contact with the soil we could hear the tone again. The frequency had to pass through my body. Ralph, this is an excellent demonstration showing that high frequencies can flow along soil and can pass through a human body. This is exactly what is happening to cows on a farm with high frequency ground current pollution. This cow has electrodes attached to her front and hind legs. The sharp lines in the top graph are the high frequency voltages flowing across the cow's body. These high frequencies are often accompanied by foot lifting and twitching. Ralph then got a bit carried away and he started to play the soil like a piano. This is amazing. Kids would love to play with something like this. Ralph, remember what is happening. Those high frequencies are flowing through your body and that is not healthy. Yes. Of course. I got a bit carried away. We are at the end of this video demonstration of high frequency ground current flowing through soil and through Ralph's body. If you would like to contact Ralph, he can be reached at the email below. I can be reached via my website. Thanks for watching and please do not try this demonstration unless you know what you are doing. Playing with electricity can be very dangerous. Yes it can. And electricity flowing through the ground can be dangerous as well. Join us next time for more videos on ground current pollution. Sorry about that, Ralph. I got a bit carried away trying to make the point that ground current hurts.